Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Moore, and this here is Mike Levy, and today we're gonna to be awarding the Value Mountain Bike of the Year Award. Now this whole mountain biking thing, it's definitely not inexpensive, but it doesn't need to cost you everything you own and a little bit more. And that's never been more true than in 2020, when you can get a pretty damn impressive bike for a pretty impressive price. We can also look at things like performance, durability, weight, components, like there's a lot that goes into a value proposition. With that in mind, we've picked some recently introduced and available bikes that offer impressive performance for their price tags, which is of course the whole idea behind the Value Mountain Bike of the Year category. All right, let's get to our first nominee. It's the Vitas, or maybe it's Vitas? Mythique. Or Mythique. <laughs> I don't think it's Mythique. <laughs> 140 millimeter travel 29er that impressed us with both its part spec for 2000 American dollars and its performance. We rode the hell out of it at our value field test earlier this year and it was very impressive even compared to the more expensive bikes we had on hand. The bike uses a horse link suspension design and that paired with the Monarch R rear shock and the 140 millimeter, millimeter Z2 fork was a standout performer. Yeah, and it also comes with a good dropper post and a 12-speed SRAM SX drivetrain. Let me read you a quote from when I reviewed the bike earlier this year in Sedona. The Mythique 29 VRX isn't trying to be a part-time all-mountain bike and it's better for it. With a contemporary but compact cockpit and the best fork of the group in its Marzocchi Bomber Z2, the Vitus is a no-fuss trail bike that gobbles up the miles and rough ground, sometimes making its competition appear slow and overdone in comparison. And that is why the Mythique is on our short list for Value Mountain Bike of the Year. Next up in the fight to win this guy, we've got the Vizari Delano Peak Comp. So for $3,500, it has a really good spec. It's also one of the full suspension bikes in this category that's really versatile. And with its 135 millimeter horse link design and well-rounded geometry, it's a pretty good bike. Right, it also comes with a 150 millimeter travel DVO diamond fork and a Topaz rear shock. You'll also find Shimano's SLX 12-speed drivetrain, and all of that is hanging off the same carbon frame that the high-end models use. Now, when Casimir reviewed this bike earlier in the year, he said, call it an aggressive trail bike or maybe a short travel all-mountain bike. Either way, the Delano Peak's well-sorted geometry and part spec give it a high level of versatility. For rides that encompass a wide range of conditions, up, down, and all around, the Delano Peak could be a worthy companion. And it's for those reasons that we've got it on our short list for Value Bike of the Year. Which brings us to our next nominee, which has a lot more travel. It's Privateer's 161 millimeter travel, Privateer 161. Now, in case the name didn't give it away, this frame was designed for Privateer racers who were looking for a strong, reliable frame that won't break the bank. Now, Privateer offers complete bikes that start off at just over $3,000 with a pretty reasonable part spec, or you can get a frame for just over $1,500. The 161mm travel bike has a 490mm reach, an 80 degree C2 angle, and it also has 446mm chainstays on the P3. So, if you put a 170mm fork on it, you're gonna get a 64 degree head angle. Now, the frame alone though, this thing isn't light. 10 pounds for just a frame. Casimir liked it though. He didn't seem to care that it was pretty heavy. What did he say? The 161 does best on faster, wide open tracks. It's more of a speed demon than a trail dancer. And when there's room to straighten it out and let off the brakes, its ability at speed is very satisfying. Aluminum, good suspension, forward thinking geometry, and most importantly for this category, a pretty dang reasonable price. Our final nominee is a bike that's very familiar to us. Common Cell's 140mm travel aluminum Meta TR got updated geometry and suspension for this year, and you could get bikes starting off at just $2,200 American. Frames, well, they start off at $1,400 American, so pretty reasonable pricing. Casimir reviewed one of these early this year. Yeah. Sarah, tell me what he said. If TR no longer stands for trail, turbo would be a worthy substitute. The Meta TR loves to go fast, no matter if that's on a rough, chunky trail or something a little smoother, ideally with plenty of berms and big jumps. I wouldn't think twice about taking it to a bike park, doing an enduro race, or three, or tossing it into the back of a truck for some rowdy DH shuttle laps. If anything, the Cummitzel Meta TR is ready for absolutely anything you're going to find on the trail, and it does it all at a pretty reasonable price. Now, we had some other bikes that are worth mentioning. They didn't quite make our short list. 
Uh, but some notable mentions include YT's Izzo and BMC's impressive two-stroke hardtail. All six of those machines will supply you with a lot of performance for your money, but there can only be one winner, and that winner is the Vitus Mythique. Yeah, for $2,000, it's hard to beat the Mythique's all-around performance as a trail bike that's just basically ready for anything, and that's why it's our winner for the Value Mountain Bike of the Year. The last 15 videos I've filmed, I've had to wear two pairs of pants. It's been so cold, and we're in our shop and wearing two pairs of pants. You're just missing a hat. You'd be fine if you just wore a hat. I can't wear hats on cameras. Oh, good luck.